hello in today's session we are going to solve problems based on the uniform plane wave uh, so let us start with the first problem which is nothing but the e is equal to 50 cos 10 raise to 8 plus beta x a y moles per meter so uh, when we are going to solve such problems we must know some of the things which is related with this wave representation so if i am going to represent the wave e x the representation is e x o e raised to minus alpha z omega t minus beta z let us see each and every term one by one so if i am assuming this is my waveform and like e x is nothing but the instantaneous form of this wave this alpha will be attenuation this t represents the time constant or time component of this particular waveform and this is nothing but the direction of the propagation so if you can see this is the minus beta z which shows you that the direction is a z direction but it is the positive z direction so if it is minus beta z that means this waves travels in plus a z direction so let us solve each and everything so what things are given in this particular numerical that we will see if i compare this one alpha is equal to 0 then omega is equal to 10 raised to 8 beta is not given so we need to calculate this thing and if we see this is plus beta x the direction is the direction x so my propagation of uh, wave is in the direction of x but as this is plus my direction will be negative x direction so my direction will be minus negative x so we have find out the direction of the propagation now let us see how many other things we need to calculate the second this is the first thing which we have find out the second thing we need to find out the beta that is phase constant the third thing is time taken to travel lambda by 2 and fourth thing we need to sketch this particular waveform for t is equal to 0 t is equal to t by 2 and t is equal to t by 4 so let us start one by one so we know that we have already seen some of the things whereas this beta is equal to omega mu 0 e 0 whereas mu 0 is nothing but the 4 pi into 10 raise to minus 7 epsilon 0 is nothing but the 8.854 into 10 raise to minus 12 so it is very easy for us to calculate a beta we know this is the phase constant that gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta so this is the attenuation constant and this will be the phase constant now we need to find out what things are given we know that we have already provided with the omega so my beta is equal to 10 raise to 8 into and we that is the square root of mu 0 and epsilon 0 i have the values of this one so i'll put all these values so 10 raised to 8 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 2 by solving this equation i get beta 3 sorry this gives 0.33 radians per meter so i have got phase constant so the second thing which i have already calculated the next thing is nothing but the, i need to find out the time duration required to travel the wave by lambda by 2 so if i draw wave somewhere here and if i take the time duration of t suppose it is the wave which is at the time duration say t is equal to 0 so this is the presentation of wave so i'm re representing my wave and my maximum amplitude of this wave is nothing but the 50 so as i know that from here to here the complete wavelength will be called as a lambda so time taken to travel the distance lambda is t so time taken to travel lambda by 2 for that wave will be t by 2 so if i know the t i can calculate that particular t by 2 so i know omega which is 2 pi f and that is nothing but the 10 raise to 8 so if i solve this equation f is equal to 10 raise to 8 divided by 2 into 3.14 this gives me 15.92 into 10 raise to 6 so if i solve this one it will become 15.92 megahertz so if i know if i can calculate t by formula 1 by t which gives me 1 upon 10 raise to say plus c 
सिक्स विच इज पॉइंट सिक्स टू नाइन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइन सेकेंड सॉरी इट इज सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइन सेकेंड सो अगेन इफ टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइन इज नथिंग बट द नैनो सेकेंड सो आई कैन राइट टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट नैनो सेकेंड सो टाइम टेक इन टू ट्रेवल लामडा बाई टू विल बी सिक्सटी टू बाई एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू नैनो सेकेंड विच गिवज मी थर्टी वन पॉइंट फोर नैनो सेकेंड नाउ आई हैव गॉट दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू आई एल स्केच माई थर्ड और माई फोर्थ ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू स्केच दैट वेव फॉर्म सो आई एल जस्ट स्केच इट नॉर्मली सीन्यूसाइडल वेव इज लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज माई सीन्यूसाइडल वेव एंड सपोज आई एम एज्यूमिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम ड्यूरेशन इज टी हियर सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग दिस वेव विच आई एम हैविंग When t is equal to zero, I have amplitude of a 50. This from here to here, this will be t. Okay. So and then I'll just denote these portions with say this is complete wavelength. This will be I'll say t by two, and this portion will be called as a t by four. So first I'll sketch it at t is equal to t by four. So shifting. Suppose this is my plus x, and this is my minus x or negative x direction. So shifting is towards or the propagation is towards the negative x axis. So suppose the t by four means you are this much duration will go here. You have to draw this waveform like this. Then. Like this. So this is the waveform when, and this amplitude will be 50, and this duration is t by 4. So you can see the shifting is towards the negative x, or propagation is towards the negative x by t by 4, because in that particular duration your wave travels lambda by 4. The next one is nothing but the t is equal to t by 2. So the complete this duration will get shift here. so if you have to draw this particular waveform you have to draw it like this now you can see the exactly opposite waveform you will get as you have got here okay and this amplitude is so the shifting is towards negative x axis and the shift is of lambda by 2 so exactly opposite waveform so this is your sketching your waveform at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to t by 4 and at t is equal to t by 2 so this is all about the first problem the next problem will solve will take another equation where the electric field is given by the formula so i am taking second example where e is given by 20 cos of 10 raised to 90 minus beta z a x with a volts per meter so the first thing which we want to find out is the direction of propagation so direction of propagation will be as you can see this will be plus a z because negative uh, representation is like this so plus a z so a, the positive uh, z direction may travel kar raha the second is we they have provided omega 10 raised to 9 so this is nothing but the 2 pi f so you can calculate f from this and then you can calculate beta also from this omega so this will be 10 raised to 9 divided by i can say 2 pi which is 3.14 so by solving this one you get 159 into 10 raised to 6 which gives you 159 mega hertz now i have got f so i can calculate t so here the third thing which i am going to calculate is a time duration so 1 upon 159 into 10 raised to 6 which gives me the time duration of 6.2893 nanoseconds so i have got time duration also the fourth thing which i am going to calculate is nothing but the beta which is omega mu 0 epsilon 0 so you can see here whenever i am going to talk about the omega i have already got omega that is 10 raised to 9 mu 0 epsilon 0 we have already defined that values into 8. 854 into 10 raised to minus 2. So if you solve this one, you will get this value as 3.33. Just the only change is that instead of 10 raised to 8, you are having this 10 raised to 9. So 3.33 
नैनो सेकेंड सॉरी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री रेडियंस पर मीटर सो यू हैव गॉट दिस पीटा ओवर ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ दिस वेव फॉर्म एज यू कैन सी दिस वेव फॉर्म इज शिफ्टिंग और दिस वेव फॉर्म इज हैविंग अ डिरेक्शन ऑफ प्रोपागेशन टू द पॉजिटिव सेड अ डिरेक्शन सो इफ आई ड्रॉ दिस वेव फॉर्म लाइक दिस सपोज दिस इज द वेव फॉर्म विच आई एम ड्रॉइंग एंड आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू sorry i have i'm just showing you few cycles to understand so at t is equal to 0 i will have this amplitude as a 20 and if this is my positive z and this is my negative z the propagation if i'm talking about the lambda by 2 so t is equal to t by 2 so you're shifting this complete wave this this t and if you're shifting it by the t by 2 into the positive z direction then this complete t by 4 this wave will get shifted here so this is the starting point over here so my shifting is like this so my completely opposite waveform will be observed here so this is how the waves get shifted so this is minus 20 in this case and this will be the 20 so your shifting goes in the positive z direction so if this is t and the shifting is t by 2 my complete t by 2 gets shifted to this side so this much shifting i'll get you over here so this shift you can see so just to show you how the t by 2 duration gets shifted here so this complete wave gets shifted by the duration of a t by 2 so exactly opposite so this is how you can solve the problem so this is all for this session thank you